Well, my family found out that there was such a thing as polycystic kidney disease after my dad died and they did an autopsy because in those days there wasn't a lot of diagnostics and he died at the age of 52, I was eight years old. And um, then we realized after a while that his brother had died at 48. And everyone always said, oh, Uncle Harold was just really lazy. You know, he never held on a job. He was too lazy. He was a ne'er-do-well. And the things people would say back in the, the 50s and so forth. And really, poor Uncle Harold had polycystic kidney disease and he was sick, but nobody knew. So um, in between then and now, I've lost two sisters to the disease. And I have several other siblings who are living with kidney disease. Um, one brother on dialysis, um, one brother and another sister who don't require dialysis yet. But it's a, it's a nasty disease. <laughs> and I found out, actually, I thought I didn't have it initially, but I found out when I was about 50 that the initial diagnosis was wrong. And in fact, I did. So that was a big shift in my life. Um, I struggled a bit to get referred to the transplant program because the first couple doctors I talked to said, oh, by the time you need a transplant, you'll be, you know, 65, 70, and you'll be too old. But I think that was an outdated approach. And um, I found a, another nephrologist who said, no, absolutely, we'll refer you. And so then started the journey of, do I qualify? And how do I find a donor? And I was really, really lucky on the donor end because my husband was willing, actually he was almost anxious to help. He was just wonderful. And right from the beginning, he said, well, there's no question. If I'm allowed, I will donate. I volunteered immediately and said, well, you can have one of mine because I don't need two. <laughs> and uh, she was very grateful. My kidneys were perfect for her donation, but we were incompatible. We received a phone call saying there has been a uh, vacancy cre uh, created or popped up in a chain. It was a series of people exchanging kidneys, basically. I'm 76 and I was really challenged by the surgeons and the nephrologists as to whether or not it was something that I wanted to do because of my age. And I was adamant that, yes, I do want to do this. My transplant was not quite four months ago. It's about three and a half months. And the first little while was a rough journey, but I'm starting to feel like my old self and I'm uh, planning a trip to be able to travel, which is something that being on dialysis uh, was really difficult because we do like to travel and our daughter lives a long way away and the thought of not being able to see her unless she found time to come here was, was a challenge for me, but now that's behind me and I am so very grateful for the program. I'm very, very grateful for the um, blood and plasma donors. I had a, a bit of a complication and I required 18 units of plasma a day for eight days. And that's a lot of donors. And all those people who step up to donate plasma as well as organs, is, it's amazing. So thank you to everybody. I feel great. And I, and I do. I, I have absolutely no after effects from the surgery. I felt like a movie star. You know, I felt like I had done something momentous, and maybe I did. I don't know.